Hey, welcome everyone. Our friend Alexis agreed or desired with us to play uh, four games. Um, we'll see how we feel throughout the match, but we should. I think we'll both be pretty happy with it. So I'm much appreciative. Good luck. Alright. I'm going to revert back to playing Swinging Rook openings. Um, at least unless something spectacular happens here. So... Yeah, this should be interesting. Uh, Alexi does a good deal of shogi education on Twitch. Offhand, I don't recall if he's also running a YouTube channel. Um, but, um, yeah, these should be very interesting games for me. That'd probably give me a lot to study thereafter. Um, you might note that well, I haven't played Swinging Rook yet here, but this is what I like to play the most. I'm not so familiar with this. That's a bit interesting. Um, but I'm going to play this here anyway, and find a way to activate our Bishop and Silver some other way here. Um, okay. That's a very aggressive gold general, but it does up gradually unblock the bishop. Um, pinning the gold does me no good here. Um... My usual aggressive nonsense doesn't seem particularly well placed here, so let's try something a bit calmer. Okay. Um. Hmm. All right, they do play opposing rook. Uh, I'm not sure where their king is going to sit this game. All right, let's activate my bishop and pray for the best. Yeah, um, if I go here, pawn up, pawn, take, take, it's fine. I'm a bit nervous about putting my king in that line. I'm always nervous about that. But there's no way to stop it either. So they have a direct line against my king. I don't see it. Oh. Potentially I could have considered this rook move. This didn't even occur to me until just now. Um... Yes, I'm more than a bit anxious here, but hopefully I can overcome that anxiety and play well. It might be tricky. If I move my king again, there's not a more solid shape than what I have here. So this is what I planned. Um, and at least temporarily things look okay. So 
So do I push this pawn and let them take that? No. Well, maybe. Uh, if I swing the rook back, they drop a pawn in front of my rook. Go back here, drop a pawn there. Or they move a silver there and I can't invade. Um, Alright, so I have to push here, but this isn't going to work, is it? Silver and Bishop protect each other, so I'm not hanging a piece outright in the opening. But yeah, all right. Hmm. Let's defend this before something goes horribly wrong. And then, I mean, what can I do here? Yeah, this position is not safe. None of the tactics work in my favor, so my opponent is reading accurately. Gofun. Um. I guess we plug this diagonal just. I don't know. If I don't do that, eventually a bishop and a knight could be the end of this castle, so... It makes sense to change it up a little bit. Um... I've done this before. I should know better. Maybe next time I need to play a different strategy. This is... it's a tricky strategy. Um... All my pieces are so tied up, and if I move any one of these here, like, the whole... Yeah, There's, they all block each other and trip over each other anytime I could move any of those. There's no clear path forward. So I'm just kind of in this holding pattern, which is no good. Hmm. 
That's why it's no good. Eventually that hits. Um, Okay, we're going to try now. All right, I don't know what to do. Generally, exchanging pieces when you don't know what to do is a bad idea. But I'm looking at this position and not seeing anything for either player here, so that means I've missed something. But what have I missed? It's a problem for both players, not just for me. Hmm, that seems to be a major problem. Okay, um... So... I'm losing a silver here. In exchange for a pawn. I mean, potentially it's even worse than that, right? Potentially, I'm losing other pieces, and they get to keep their token, and I don't have an attack, but they do. That would not be a great situation. Um, but yeah, silver takes us out of the question, because the bishop takes, and I'm losing everything, so we had to retreat. There was no choice there. It doesn't mean there's that this is a good retreat, but like anyway, they want to find ways to activate their pieces. No choice there. Okay, they have a silver. If I take back with the gold, then they take this, and it's... I have nothing. Ah! Yeah, this is well played. Um, so I take here, so I postpone the mate as much as I can. Uh, I cannot drop a pawn here two bishops in hand. Oh, if I drop either bishop, they could drop a knight. Um, hmm.
They could still drop a knight. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, that is convincing. Um. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Ipun. All right, so I need to escape checkmate if I can. And this is a move that tries to escape checkmate. It probably fails spectacularly, but um, it should offer, I don't know, some hope. Yeah, if they drop here, like, what can I do? My king could run, they check me here. Yeah, uh... I don't know, I'm trying to fight. Like, I would drop there. I very much would do that, but maybe that's not right. I mean, this is embarrassing that I have virtually no attack. They have a commanding attack that, like, I'm just hanging on, but... Not really. So. It is embarrassing enough to make me want to resign, but not... I shouldn't. I should try to play it out a bit more. Oh god. Uh, yeah, this is just me being frustrated. I'm sorry. Thanks for the game. All right, that's one game. Yeah, we could play rematches. Uh, Alexi mentioned a desire to play up to four games here, so it's not that I want to vacate the board there, but all right, good luck. All right, we got Senta here. Um, let's take. I don't know if I'm gonna play. Yeah, let's play this third file again. Maybe after two games I'll switch it up and pick something else, but... Hmm. It would help if I knew all the bishop exchange lines, because then I would know what to be afraid of and what not to fear. So... This protects... I don't know what to do. Play the rook to the fourth file. Yeah, after this gold moves, I don't know the correct response. I've been playing this game for a couple years and I still don't know my openings. In fairness, there are a lot of openings. I've only been playing a couple years, so... Makes sense that there's still some things I can learn. Um, this gold move it seems very surprising to me. All right, let's test our luck. How bad can this be, right?
I forgot. Alright. You know, if I lose enough games, perhaps I'll remember eventually. Yeah, I've repeatedly over the years fallen for this. It's maddening to fall for the same thing over and over and over. But now we're here, so we have to deal with it. So what do we do now? Um, guess this is the safest thing I can think of. Let's just complete the castle and pretend I haven't effed this up. I mean, what else could there be, right? Let's draw another proverb just for visual interest on the live stream. Alright, so if I offer a rook exchange, a rook is exactly what they need to attack. It's not what I need, but we can maybe make it work out. Well, if I move the rook, they're just going to take my pawn. Um, if I don't move the rook, they're going to take this pawn. A pawn is doomed either way. Let's play this in a way that lets me get at least some attack. It's not much, but it's something. There we go, we got a pawn. We have some prospect of maybe eventually perhaps getting to attack something. Um, yeah, there is a good point that I'm not actually threatening anything here. So they don't have to respond to what I've done. Like, while I might automatically drop a pawn just out of... Emotion, it's not necessary. Um... This is slightly surprising, to be honest. Alright, we're gonna play... I don't know why this was allowed. But we're gonna play it. And the next idea is that I could eventually pick up this lance. If I had another pawn, this attack would be much more convincing, but nope, that ship has sailed, so I have to play with what I got. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. That is surprising, I think, even. All right, let's take this, right? Yes, let's please give me many pieces to attack with. Um, not saying I'm better, but at least I can make this look like a game here. So I could immediately attack the bishop if I really wanted a bishop, but I'm not sure. I don't think I'm that desperate to have one. I think better is this promotion. Um, so now I have a knight and a gold. Yeah, makes sense they would attack me at my weak point. Um... Generally, I think I'm supposed to take 
Oh, that makes it easy. That speeds up their attack if I take it. Um, no, it has no effect on the speed if I take it. It just means I'm one pawn richer. No, I'm sorry. It speeds up their attack by one move if I take it. What am I talking about? I can't do that. Um, Gofun. Oh, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Sorry if um, my negative rambling somehow affected our play. Hmm. Well, both of my targets are in the same file, so we place a lance. It seems natural. Wow. Uh, okay, then. That gives me things to consider. Oh, I cannot ensnare this, first of all. So I try to cut off the king's escape route as well as uh, attack this point directly. And then, is this the right moment? Yeah, I think this is a good moment. Let's try this. I don't know how this will resolve. It's kind of a mess. Ah, after my rook sack, I was better. That's interesting. Now, Shogi's a complex game. Um, hmm. This is hard to read. I think I have to take here.
2分30秒。2分。Yeah, I looked, I looked very carefully, perhaps. There is a saying that the spectators see the best of the game. I looked very carefully for that possibility, but I did not see it. I <sighs> 1分。The Nifu roll. Um, Sanju Bio.
20秒10秒Yeah, we'll just resign this. Thanks for the game. It's a combination of misclicks and freaking out in time pressure. No, it's fine. This is how this website works. I, no, uh, this website is different from other websites. I'm just glad I played an interesting game. Um, yeah, there is a lot to consider here. Oh, that's how this website works. There's nothing to be ashamed of there. Uh, yeah. Well, it's not a Fisher clock style. It's a clock that has no increment. There's no increment, no Bioyomi. There's nothing here. Just the internet latency. That's all that gets factored in. Uh, okay, we got a first time chat. A complete beginner. Fancy attacking. Have a liking. Good luck. Um, liking toward moving the king to the corner. Well, we saw last game I moved the king to the corner and got an interesting game. Um, so, okay, what do I do about this? Okay, we're going to put the bishop here. This is... I have thoroughly confused myself here. Um, but hopefully it's okay. So... Yeah. Yeah, it was a good position. I got very lucky out of the opening to get such a fabulous position. But sometimes you gotta roll the dice and get lucky. Um, okay. Uh, um, I don't know how to play this. Since bishops have been exchanged, there's forks everywhere to consider. Um, oh, plus, I, sorry, I interrupt my other point. My other point was that no matter what the material situation is, uh, the checkmate is what counts. And I definitely did not checkmate that last game. So, it was a good game. The, I'll have other good games in my career. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, if I push this pawn, there's this bishop drop. Oh wait, no, it's fine. I have a bishop drop to counter the bishop drop. It's okay. 
Yeah, so we call this static rook because the rook is on its initial file. Um, so yeah, this is static rook. Oh god. Um... Can we make this more confusing somehow? He says, ironically. Let's push this. And then everything is attacked. Um... I mean, yeah, it's your, when you're talking about your own playing style, feel free to do as you will. It is a game. Uh, we do play the games to find out their outcome. We don't just theorize about it. So. That said, theoretically, it looks like I'm in Nothing. a huge heap of trouble here. <laughs> um, I don't see any way to stop it. Hmm. I mean, I could do the same thing, right? His attack will be one move faster, but maybe my attack punches will move harder or something like that. Hey, there's an avatar I haven't seen before. Or a sticker or whatever. Yeah. Feel free to try things. And there is a teaching ladder that meets frequently, so if you really want to try something and um, lack an opponent to try it against, the latter can provide some opponents. This gold's supposed to be here, not there, isn't it? Um, hmm. Okay. Um, I've got a bad feeling about this. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gofun. All right, welcome back. Are we winning? Who knows? The one thing that is evident is I fall behind on the clock since I don't know what I'm doing. That's pretty evident. Um, other than that, who knows? Um, Okay, we'll just glob all this together and pray. Fairy stockfish nose. Sure, let's go with that. Why not?
Well, let's try this. How bad can this move be? Yeah, there's... There's a lot of problems with my position. Putting three generals a little clump here is perhaps by itself not terrible. Um... But that means I got one general left to attack with. And my bishop's not even on the board. But it's more flexible if it's off the board. But there's just so, so much to read to try to figure out, like, can I do anything here? Um, that's not the move I wanted to see. All right, fine. We'll offer an exchange here. They want to push on this file. So there's a lot they want to do. If they do push, I can attack the rook directly. It's about as far as the planning goes, because I've got not much time to think. I mean, yeah, I'd like to use my rook, but it's a bit tricky. This whole game I've been trying to activate my bishop through a 5-5 drop. And not once has it actually worked out. Every turn, our opponent has read one move deeper. Alright, so what's the deal? A silver is a good defensive piece. A rook's a good attacking piece, also a good defensive piece. I'm offering up my castle so I can get this rook. Um, is that a good exchange? That's why we play the game to find out. I don't expect them to take us up on this offer. Um, offer B is that I take your pawn and I've yeah, okay, I've had to drop my silver, but I've got a pawn. Um, it's actually more interesting than that, isn't it? Because I can actually use this pawn. I forgot that this might be a useful pawn. So now the tactics commence. Um, I'm trying to move this silver away, as previously described. Bishop 5-5 five, five drop that's decisive would be so nice. And right now, dropping and attacking this wing is not useful. But a drop that attacks in both directions could potentially have some value. I don't think I can gambit my rook this game like I did the other game.
Oh. This tactic is more straightforward than I thought. Um... Nifun. Screw it. Let's find out where this goes. I have some ideas. They're not all negative. Hmm. I forgot they could drop a pawn here. That is a bit troubling. So this is my next idea. It looks crazy because I'm just offering up my silver. But an active bishop might be worth a silver. Probably not, but I don't have any other ideas, so we're going with this one. And yeah, sure, they can trap the rook. We're not using the rook either. Our king is going to go on a bit of a walk this game. If I drop, they just take it eventually. Oh, is this mate? This looks very much like mate. Yeah. Thanks for the game. Yeah, if I dropped a piece, they like. This castle does not stand at all. So, I think I did the most reasonable thing there, but it got still still got me checkmated. It happens. Uh, well played. That's three games. I think uh, Alexei mentioned wanting to play four, so we could set up for another one if he likes. Good luck. All right, we get Senta once more. Um. Let's play this. Something to try to vary it up a bit.
Whoa! Never seen that one before either. That looks cool. Yep, four games in a row. Let's do it. Um... Hmm. Interesting. Oh, you got to go to four in a row. Yeah, I guess it's possible. Well, it did happen, but... Um, yeah, that seems less than random, if I had to guess. Somehow the website just determined to set it up that way. Uh, crud. <sighs> what do I do? Like, the thing I most want to do here is not viable. Well, it wasn't viable. No, it still isn't. I can't. All right. Jeez. Um. What do I do here? How do I get a position that's even halfway reasonable? This is what's coming to mind here. Because if I move the bishop there directly, bad things happen. But I can move it here. They defend this point. Maybe. Maybe they don't. But I think they do. And then I move the knight. And I can safely retreat the bishop unless I'm missing something. Yeah. So, yeah. Whether it's been random or by other choice by the website, yeah, Alexi has gotten go to four games in a row here. Um, all right, so my original plan was to drop the bishop back here, but they actually could bring a silver out and a pawn up. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, this is so unclear. Alright, I'm too curious. What happens if I do this? They say that curiosity killed the cat. It looks super dangerous for me to do this, but how bad can it be? The only thing that could conceivably defend this... Well, there are two things that could defend that. One would be this gold, which has no business being this far up the board. The other, I'm not going to say until after I see his next move. Let's get a proverb up for visual interest. What's the proverb? Let's get a different proverb up. Him at the king's ears. Yeah. Okay. You know, I have a good feeling about this. Yes, it's insane, but should I care? We've played so many games where the object has been for the rook to break through, even if sacrifices are necessary. Nanafun. This time, the bishop is trying to break through. Um...
All right. Well, this is a lot of fire. Let's play with fire. That's what it's there for. Originally, I was concerned about this knight move. Um, but yeah, I said after their next move, I would comment what might chase the bishop other than this gold. I was thinking maybe the rook could. Um, so, yeah, this is the hottest of hot messes for both of us. Um... Hmm. I see that. So my brilliant idea here was to use the silver to block the bishop. And we'll see in time if that holds any water at all. Ordinarily pushing my rook pawn would make a ton of sense, but here is a position where I don't want to give them a pawn. I'd much, much rather not. So we're going to play it this way. Um, yeah, they want a pawn and they want to stop various tactics. My generals all defend each other here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we're going to finally offer this pawn that they are clamoring to have. Finally, they have it. Um, This is speculation on my part. Um, so this knight can't move. So my plan is to use this knight to promote and take this. Unless I can get a lance. If I can get a lance, maybe that changes my plan. Maybe, maybe not. Because, yeah, potentially dropping a lance to get a gold and then getting my bishop kicked out might not be good for me. <laughs> Truly. This pawn drop. I don't understand that. <sighs> what does that mean? I mean, it has one meaning... Oh, well, I guess potentially I could take the silver. I didn't think that through deeply. Probably should have thought that through deeply, because, like, 
it's actually a pretty grave threat, but I think I'm lucky enough that it doesn't win. And therefore, if the sack to pick up the silver doesn't win, I could just move the silver out of harm's way. Alternatively, I could retreat the bishop and take this hit the rook, but it's so slow. But no, this pawn's the threat. My bishop's not doing anything. It looks spooky, but it's not doing anything. So let's retreat it. Oh, they were intending to drop a knight here the whole time. They might do it, but it blocks... It complicates everything. Um... Like, they'd be blocking both their pawn and their lance if they did that drop. But it would give me something to always watch out for every turn. Hmm. that night drop. I don't understand. Oh, they want to promote. Okay. Yeah, they could promote and take a lance. Sure. I run. Uh, if they promote anyway, they haven't gotten a lance. Um... All right, so I attack their knight. I guess I take here. I don't know. So they have a lance and a bishop to drop. This looks not easy to defend. Um, Sampun. That's my guess as to how to defend this. It's hard to read. I'm not liking it. Well, the other moves just straight up lose a boatload of materials, so this is... Comparatively, it seems okay. Oh, this bishop drop doesn't work, because I take it. Alright, so... Yeah, if my king intends to run, it probably can run. And must. Um, Nifun Sanjubio. This is a tricky position. I think this is playable. I hope I'm right. Yep, yeah, so that's predictable. And after that, this seems like my best timing to start running. Nifun. Hmm. 
Didn't see that coming. All right. Um, let's plug this diagonal. One other idea. Actually, uh, plugging the diagonal seems pretty effective, no? I didn't think it would work, but um, the more I'm looking at it, like, where's the hole? Where's the flaw in this? Yeah, they've got more and more pieces to attack with, and yeah, it's scary. But we all get to attack this game, right? Hmm. <sighs> Sanjubio Thanks for the game. Again, this website has a different type of shogi. Um, so, yeah, it's just how this website works. I think the thing that matters is whether we had a fighting spirit throughout our games, not necessarily how this website scores it. Um, so yeah, we had a very interesting series of games. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is a different type of shogi in that for the past thousands of years, you would not be able to win a game by making a random moves. Um, and waiting for your opponent's clock to expire. And then this website arose, and that became possible. Although there might be websites before it, but still. Like, most websites, you would choose to play with either an increment, or Yoyomi, or a delay, or anything like that. 
um, here, this website, like when a player gets under one minute, crazy stuff happens. We don't worry too much about the result in that circumstance. At least I don't. I mean, sometimes I vent over it because like it's disappointing that in other sites or other matches, like, I don't know. It's disappointing when my opponent plays random moves and, uh, you know, I just can't find the mate. That's, I'm not disappointed about my opponent. I'm disappointed that I don't find the mate in those circumstances. In this most recent game, in that end game, when I dropped a lance in front of my king, there was mate in one right there. But we were both too caught up in the moment to see it. So, yeah. Yeah, coming from the chess world, it's a different experience, a different set of expectations. Um, but I think uh, from the shogi world and perhaps from other board game worlds, maybe it makes sense. Like, if you look on the Lee Chess forums, you'll find about 100 to 500 posts, something like that, where I keep talking about how important it is to play with an increment, and that people who routinely complain in the Lee Chess forums about the outcome, when like one player's time expires and the result that happens isn't the one they personally expected because they were trained under a different rule set than Lee Chess uses, um, I point out to them, like, well, that, that rule... While it does affect your game because you chose to play without an increment, um, you know, just play with an increment and that won't happen. So, yeah. Uh, but if you look at, like, the U.S. Chess Federation IRL tournament play rules, as well as the international uh, tournament rules for chess, when you go to tournaments... Most of those rules cover your typical tournament situations. Most tournament situations are not Blitz and are not Armageddon situations. Most of the time you're playing in a real-life chess tournament, it's a serious game, not a Blitz game. And most of the time, I mean, there's rapid games, there's classical games, there's even correspondence. But in all of these, like, you get to take your time and think about your move, and it's not about who can move the pieces faster. But, uh, yeah, on this website, uh, it's very convenient, it's very expedient, but uh, the cost is that sometimes the outcome at the end gets randomized, and it's a bit sad. On the other hand, the more Suma Shogi, the more endgame uh checkmate puzzles you practice, the easier it gets to find these combinations at the end and pull off amazing attacks. So, yeah, we had a fun series of games here. Um, so, yeah, um, might do some post-game analysis at some point. I might even bring one of these games to Shogi Sunday to review. Because, uh, yeah, these games were modestly interesting. Well, these games were actually pretty interesting. Um, so, yeah, they feature, like, Swinging Rook against Swinging Rook much of the time, I, or at least some of the time, get that, like, one Anaguma game, which was interesting. But no, I was trying to play Static Rook, and we got some weird Bishop Exchange positions that I didn't fully grasp, but I think we both learned something from this, and we'll study it further, and bring some games further, and it'll be pretty good and interesting. So, look forward to that. Uh, thanks for watching.